and welcome to this week's um, Kids Church. And if this is your very first time joining us at Kids Online, welcome, welcome. And I also know a lot of our face-to-face -face children are online today because we don't have church today because of the Cycle Race 94.7. So I hope a lot of you are tuning in and are ready to have tons of fun with us. But as I said, if this is your first time, welcome, welcome. I hope you're going to enjoy our very exciting lesson for today. I'm not going to say too much, but it is amazing. Don't go anywhere. Now, before we do anything else, I know that a lot of you are sitting at the, this, you are like sitting there with, you can't wait, you're in anticipation. I wonder why. Why would you be so excited? Why would you be waiting? Oh, yes, of course, it's your birthdays. I, <laughs> that's why you are all waiting for me, right? So let's zoom to the birthday board and let's see if your name is there because if you had a birthday during the week or today then your name will be on there and just before I go guys it is going to be it was Lolo's birthday on Friday so we are going to wish Lolo a very happy birthday today she's you will guys will know her from Children's Church and so Lolo had a birthday this week and her name is also going to be on the birthday board. Well, let's go Zoom and see if your name's there. See you now. Well, happy birthday everyone and happy birthday Lolo. I hope you had a fantastic awesome day and that you all were spoiled rotten, got ate lots and lots and lots of <laughs> cake and sweet and got the presents that you really wanted. Now, talking about presents, you guys know that one way that we can give to Jesus a present from our hearts is to give with our money. Now, I know a lot of your parents so generously pay money into our account every month so that we can continue being online with you, meeting at church, church face to face, and also to just help the poor and the needy out there that has been suffering so much during the past few years. And so we use your money so wisely. And remember, you can also make a difference. You can put 10% of your pocket money into your little DIY money box. And when it's full, give it to your parents so they can go and pay the money into Grace Point's account. And that way, you and I can also make a difference. All right, did you pop your money in? Put your hands together, close your eyes, and let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for the privilege of being online today. Father, I pray that you will bless every family right there where they are listening to us right now. Father, I pray that you will help us use the money that is so generously put into our bank accounts wisely for your kingdom and for your people. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Wow, boys and girls, I think it's time now for us to go to Kezi. But please remember, please come back to church and join us for our new Gen Now um, intergenerational program. Next week, we're going to have Moving Church again. So don't forget to come and join us here face to face. We are safe. We follow all COVID regulations. And so you can come with your parents and just have an amazing fun time with us at Grace Point. Otherwise, I will always be here online. Lolo, Vicky and myself will always be here online with you. All right, let's go to Kezi and let's go have an amazing time worshiping our God and our Savior. See you now now. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another Worship with Kezi. My name is Kezia, but you can call me Kez or Kezi, whatever you're comfortable with. And what is your name? Well, it's very nice to meet you. Well, if you are here for the very first time, hi! I'm so excited you guys had to join us today, and for all of you who have been joining us for the past few weeks, hi! I'm so glad that you guys are back. I've missed you all so, so, so much. And for all of you new, I'm so glad we get to be friends now. So, this week is a very special worship with Kelly. But we will get there a little later on. So today, we have two songs for you. The first one is called Jesus Loves Me. And that is so true. Okay, so it's, a very, it's an oldie, but it's a goldie. So we're going to have so much fun with it. 
So we're gonna go. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. And then you're gonna go down. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, mm, sad face. But he is strong, strong. Here we go. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. And then we're gonna go. Jesus loves me, he who died. <laughs> and we go. Heaven gate that open wide. He will wash away my sins. And then little children, they will come. And those are all the moves. <laughs> I look a bit silly today, huh? Okay, so we are going to start all over again. So you're going to go. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes. Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible told me so. Okay, then we go. <laughs> Jesus loves me. He who died. Heaven's gates to open wide. He will wash away my sins. And you go. Yes, Jesus loves me yes jesus loves me and those were all the moves so are you ready because i know i am hmm. i couldn't quite hear you i asked are you ready just a little bit louder are you ready Everybody, I had so much fun with Jesus Loves Me, didn't you? Okay, so the second song we're gonna do is called Every Move I Make. So, it's super, super easy and super, super fun. And it's a bit complicated, so don't worry, we're gonna go over all the moves together. So, you're gonna go. Na, 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 na. 
Every move I make, I make with you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I breathe, I breathe in you. So you're gonna go. Na 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 na. Okay, so whenever you hear the words na na na, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna go waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. Oh my God, this love, how can it be? <laughs> and aren't those moves really easy? Okay, so if you get confused throughout the dance, just remember, just do this. <laughs> or just try and catch up with us all over again, okay? So, I hope you guys have so much fun on this one. This is one of my favorite songs ever. So I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> of the week is or what the song is that we're going to do now so because christmas is coming up every single week we're going to be doing christmas songs from now on and the first one is one that you should know and it's called um what's the song it's called jingle bells <laughs> okay so a lot of us know jingle bells right 
but not all of us know the actions for it. So I'm gonna teach us the actions, right? So we're gonna go dashing through the snow in a one foot open sleigh. For the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> and then we're gonna go. Bobs up, uh, 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 I forgot the words. <laughs> so you're gonna go one, two, three, and you go shine, shine, shine. Then you're gonna go jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! <laughs> now, there's a bit more to this one, okay? So, super, super easy as well. I also sometimes get confused, but it's okay. So, we're gonna go one, two, then big arms. So big arms. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Oh, but the boys, you don't have to do this. Boys, you can do this. <laughs> so girls, we do this. Boys, we do this. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. And you go one, Two, two, four. One, two, three, four. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. So this is a bit tricky and it's a bit fast and that's okay. I also get confused with it. So if you get confused or you get lost, all you need to do is jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way, okay? So at any point in the song, if you get lost, just shake your hands. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you next week. <laughs> Let's go. My hat? What does it say on it? Mm, can you read? That's right. Ho, ho, ho. Guys, we are starting our Christmas series today and we are just going to have so much fun. Just more fun than what you had when you were praising and worshiping God, I hope. <laughs> so boys and girls, we decided that this year we're going to do Christmas a little bit different. So as you all know, if you have been walking in the, 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 um, the shops and the malls, that there's Christmas trees and tinsel and lights and big balls and fake presents under the trees. And oh, there's just Christmas everywhere. And they play Christmas music everywhere. And so we decided that before we do the real Christmas story starting in December, we have to prepare you and ourselves to understand 
What are all those things that are being put into um, the shopping centers or into our homes? What do they really mean? Why do we have a Christmas tree? Why do we have um, bubbles on our Christmas tree? Why do we have a star or, or, or a, a big angel on the top of our tree? Why do we have lights? And why does mommy put candles around our Christmas tree? So many things. I wonder if you ever wondered why. So today and next week, we are calling our lessons our Christmas preparations for the real Christmas story. And to help us with this, I'm going to ask Vicky and Lolo to help me with today's lesson. I am going to tell you a story and then when I'm telling you the story, there's going to be some thinking, mm, thinking and wondering and then trying to answer the question. And then once you guys, that's you, Lolo and Vicky have decided on the answer, I am going to give you the real meaning of Christmas through a beautiful story today. I hope you guys are excited like I am. I, oh, when I packed out all our Christmas stuff, oh guys, Christmas is my favorite time of the, of the year. Not just because of the presents and, and, but because this is the time of the year that I remember that Jesus became a little baby so that he could show us that he was normal, just like you and me. And then when he grew up, he died on the cross for me. So this is a very special time of the year for me, as well as Easter. All right, so are you guys ready for our amazing lesson today? Now, don't go anywhere. Let's get ready. For First, we're going to go to the storybook corner, and then you will meet Lolo and Vicky. All right, are you ready? I'll see you soon. boys and girls and welcome to our storybook. Right before we start we need to remember what Christmas is all about. In Luke 2 it says while Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem the time came for, for them to have the baby. She gave birth to her first son. There was no room left in the inn so she wrapped the baby with cloths and laid him in a manger where animals were fed. Wow, boys and girls, I get so excited when it's Christmas. Now, our story today is all about Jane, who just finished all her preparations for Christmas the next day. It was Christmas Eve. She sat in front of the fire and she was just going to relax when she all of a sudden heard something. What could it be? To her amazement, Santa Claus stepped from behind the Christmas tree. He placed one finger over his mouth so that she would not scream out in surprise. What are you doing here? Jane asked in excitement. But then she realized that Santa had tears in his eyes. His usual jolly manner was gone. Oh, and he looked very, very sad. What is the matter, Santa? Jane asked. Oh, please, please, this year, teach the children. Um, uh, Santa, uh, I'm a bit confused. What do you mean, teach the children? With one big movement, Santa brought forth a great big bag from behind the trees. First, Jane thought it was special presents. But then she realized, when she looked at Santa again, that this had nothing to do with presents. This is what Santa said. Teach the children. Teach them the real meaning of Christmas. So many people today have forgotten what Christmas is really about and think it's about me, Santa Claus, and presents. So slowly Santa reached into his big bag and pulled out a tiny fir tree. He placed it on the mantle. 
Now, boys and girls, we're going to stop here for a minute because what we need to figure out before Santa tells us is what is this fir tree, this Christmas tree, all about? Now, before I read the story further, let's go to Lolo and Vicky. And I want you guys at home to also think, what is Santa going to tell us about the Christmas tree? I'll see you soon. Let's go to Lolo and Vicky. Do you think it's the color of the tree? Yes, I think, because the green color uh, symbolizes that the tree will not die. Like Jesus love us forever. Of course. I think that is our answer. So maybe let's check with me if we are correct. Welcome back, boys and girls, to the Storybook Corner. Wow, Lolo and Vicky had very good ideas there. Let me continue with my story. So Santa pulls out the tree and then says to Jane, Please teach the children that the Christmas tree remains green all year round, showing the everlasting hope of mankind. This tree never dies, just like God's love and the life we will have with Jesus will live forever. The needles of the tree also points heavenwards, which means that our prayers will always reach God. Wow, Jane was so surprised. She reached to comfort Santa, but no, he was still very unhappy. So Santa reached back into his sack, and then he pulled out a brilliant golden star. Hmm, I'm going to stop here for a minute, boys and girls. Let's go back to Lolo and Vicky and find out what they think the star is all about before we continue our story with Jane and Santa. Lolo, what do you think about this star? Hmm. Oh, I know. I think this is the star that the wise men and the shepherd were following. Yes, Vicky, I think it's where they find Jesus in the major. Oh, exactly, maybe that's the answer. So let's check with Lee if we are correct. Beautiful answers, Lolo and Vicky. So let's go back to our story. So Santa pulled out his star, if you remember, and then said to Jane, This is the Bethlehem star, which was the sign of a promise given in the Old Testament a long, long time ago. God promised to send a saviour. That is someone who's going to save us, boys and girls, and deliver us from this world. This bright star pointed to that promise. Remember the wise men and the shepherds followed the star all the way until they got to the stable where they found Jesus, God's only son who was born in a stable. Isn't that an amazing story, Jay? Oh, Santa, that is beautiful. But that's not all, Jay. Santa said. Again she saw tears in his eyes as he pulled out a candle from his bag. Now boys and girls let's take a little break here and I wonder what has a candle got to do with our Christmas story and our preparations for Christmas. Let's zoom to Lolo and Vicky and see if they can come up with the answers. Mm, this is a hard one Lolo. I don't, uh, what do you think candles do? I think candles show us the lies from the darkness. Oh, which means Jesus, like Jesus is the way and the light for us. So I think we got our answer. Let's check with Lee. Wow, you guys got this one very easy and so clever, Lolo, for realizing that the candle gives us light in the darkness. And so let's continue with our story and hear what Santa had to say to Jane about the candles. Now we know that candles goes around the tree, but we also put Christmas lights on the tree, which also symbolizes the same thing as the candles. 
Please, said Santa, teach the children that the candles and the lights that we put on the tree symbolizes that Jesus, God's Son, is the light of the world. When we see this light, remember the one who overcame the darkness by dying on the cross for us. And more importantly, remember what Jesus wanted us to do. He wanted us to be the light of the world while we wait for him to return. We need to be just like him and show people the way. We should be the light to show people the way to Jesus. Let's all decide, Santa said, to be the light of the world, just like Jesus was born to be the light of the world. Wow, Jane was standing there in amazement looking at Santa. She couldn't believe what she was seeing and hearing. As she was thinking about all these things, Santa reached into the sack and then he took out the most beautiful red bubble and said, this is a beautiful bubble that we will hang on your Christmas tree tonight. Now let's just stop here for a minute, boys and girls. I wonder why Santa took out a red bubble and was going to hang it on Jane's tree. I think we need the help of Lolo and Vicky again to help us with this story. Let's go to them and see what they think. Oh, Lolo, look at this bubble. It's round like a ball. Yes, Vicky, there is no the end and the beginning in strong ball. Oh, which means it's that Jesus' love for us. Jesus loves us forever and he does, there is no end, there is no beginning. He loves us all the time, round and round, like a bubble. Yes, it is, Vicky. Okay, so let's uh, see if Lee agrees with us. Wow, boys and girls, Lolo and Vicky are so clever, I can't catch them out today. Well, let's go back to our story and see what Jane and Santa has to say. Well, Santa said, this Bobble has the color of red. Can you see, Jane? Yes, I can, Santa. Now remember, red is the first color of Christmas. It is the symbol of God's greatest gift. Christ Jesus gave his life and he shed his blood for us so that we might have eternal life with him. When we see this color red, it should remind us of this most beautiful gift, the death of Jesus on the cross for you and me. But more so, when we see this bubble and the red color, let's remember that Jesus did that sacrifice because his love for us is never ending. It's got no beginning, it's got no end. It will always carry on from the beginning to the end. Oh, Jane was mesmerized. She was in awe of all the things that Santa was telling her. And finally, for that evening, she was getting so tired, but Santa was not finished, boys and girls. His sack was still very, very full. The next thing he pulled out was a beautiful red wreath. Oh, it was so beautiful and shiny. Just before Santa tells us what this was all about, why don't we boys and girls go for this week? Because this is where our story is going to end for this week. Let's go back to Lolo and Vicky and see if they can tell us what the wreath has got to do with our preparations for Christmas. Oh, look at this shape, Lolo. What shape is this? This shape, I think, is like my ball. It's round like my ball. It's so easy to me. Oh, of course. This is round, like your bubble. So this also means that the love for Jesus for us is everlasting. He will love us and he's loving us forever. Let's check with Lee if that's correct. Well, you guys are just too clever today. That is exactly, I think, what Santa is going to tell us. Let's go back to our story. So, Santa standing with this beautiful wreath in his hand. Jane says, oh, Santa, that is beautiful. And Santa said, yes, 
go and hang it up in the, in the, on your front door. Because this wreath not only symbolizes the endless nature of God's love, but also when we hang it outside, it's for everybody to see, firstly, that we celebrate Christmas, which means that we are children of God. And secondly, that our household serves and loves God. And thirdly, this wreath shows us that just like Lolo and Vicky said, Jesus will never ever stop, love, stop loving us. Just like that round shape, his love for us is everlasting. Wow, boys and girls, I can't wait for next week to continue with our story. But now we're going to go back to the studio and then we're going to also have to do some of our craft. So we will see you back in the studio. Now remember, please come back next week for part two of this story. From the Storybook Corner, bye! Well, boys and girls, I hope that you enjoyed our lesson so much. Wow, I loved it when we went backwards and forwards and Lolo and Vicky was trying to figure out the answers. I'm sure at home you were also trying to figure out the answers and I hope you guys got it right. And so guys, this week we have now learned about the tree, the everlasting tree that shows us that we're going to live with, with, with God forever and that he loves us forever. That beautiful big star that showed us that the promises of God is true and that if we keep on thinking about that star, how they followed that star to actually find Jesus and then realize that the promises of God is true. And that beautiful candles, guys. Wow, to remember that not only is Jesus the light of the world, but we are called to be the light of the world. And that beautiful big bubble to remind us of the endless love of Jesus and the red color reminds us that Jesus died on the cross for us. And finally, that beautiful wreath that, that we saw that we're going to hang on the outside of our door. Firstly, to show that there's endless love in this home. Love from God, love from the families, and then to also show everybody out there that we follow Jesus. We are children of God. Now, don't forget, next week we're going to do our last four symbols and before the real story of Christmas starts on the 5th of December. Now, this is the favorite, this is my favorite part of the day. We are going to Doodle Studio to make some of the craft that you guys saw today or the, or the symbols that we saw today. So, are you ready? Okay, remember, just doodle it, how to doodle it, doodle kids. Hello boys and girls and welcome to the Doodle Studio. Are you ready to doodle? Just remember how to doodle it. Just doodle it, doodle kids. Right, Lolo's got our first three crafts. Now guys, if you remember from our story, we did the tree, the beautiful red bubble and the candle. So we are going to find these three pictures on the kids' website. Ask mom and dad to take you there and then go and print it. Um, try and print it on hard paper if you can because that will mean your picture will just stand more beautifully when you do them. Okay, so the very first, oh, let me just also tell you guys what we need for this craft. We obviously need red stickers because we have red bubbles that needs to go onto our Christmas tree. We need to have pencils or coloring in. We have, we've got some glitter glue, but you guys, it's Christmas. So you can use anything in your house to go and decorate your, your, um, your symbols. And then we need to make some holes because obviously we need to hang it somewhere. And then we have some lots of stickers as you can see. And we have some, um, a, a pair of scissors and some more stickers. And we will show you what we're going to do with all of those. But the whole trick here boys and girls is to use everything and anything that you have in your house. And just have fun decorating your symbols that are helping you to get ready for Christmas. Right, the first thing we're going to do is, what you're going to do at home, is cut out all your, 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 your um, symbols. Ask mom and dad or our older sibling if you're um, going to battle, but that's the very first thing you need to do is cut out all your symbols. Now we have already done that just to save on some time. So 
we're going to ask Lolo to do the Christmas tree first. So Lolo, let's pack away all our big pictures and then let's show the boys and girls what we are going to do with these, um, with the Christmas tree. So firstly, what we're going to do is you're going to take your red stickers, if you've got, or any color for that matter, but we like to use red because remember our bobble was red and we're going to stick it on every single one of our Christmas tree bubbles. Can you see? There we go. You just keep on sticking and sticking. And then when you've done that, you could also color it in red or you can use glitter glue. You can do whatever you like as long as you decorate those little red balls or the balls on our Christmas tree beautifully. So there we go. Look at Lolo. She is sticking away. Wow, Lolo, that looks beautiful. They, she's left a few of the, <laughs> the others green because we'll see now why. Because the white part of our Christmas tree slots into our other side of our Christmas tree. Let Lolo show you guys. So remember, the, there was a line that you had to cut through. Now those two pieces slide into one another. Look at that, boys and girls. And there we have a beautiful Christmas tree. Now there's one more thing before we make the tree stand, Lolo. What do we need to put right at the top? Yes, it is our star. Remember that the wise men and the, um, the, the shepherds followed and found Jesus in the manger in the stable. Now let's see if Lolo's picture can stand now. Lolo, can you make the picture stand beautifully for us? Your little tree. There we go. Look at that, how beautiful Lolo's Christmas tree is standing. Stunning. And that little star of yours is just star. They is just glittering away. All right, let's go do our bobble. Are you ready? Right, I hope you've cut it out. And remember to cut the two pieces out in where the little line is, not higher than the line. Otherwise, our bobble won't be hanging beautifully. Right, so what we decided to do is just to put some glitter glue on. But boys and girls, you can do whatever you like. You can actually even um, print your uh, glitter, your your ball in a different uh, in white, and then color it or any color, and then you can use whatever you like to decorate your red bubble. And remember, it shows the everlasting love of God, but also of Jesus. But remember, it also shows Jesus dying on the cross. That red color of the blood that Jesus shed for us on the cross. Isn't that amazing? Wow, look at Lolo. She's going to do all kinds of colors with hers. Oh, I can't wait to see what it's going to look like when she's done. Wow, look at Lolo. She is just having so much fun. And you know what, boys and girls? Even if we can't see it beautiful now, when it's hanging on your Christmas tree and those lights are on the Christmas tree, that glitter is going to just light up. Wow. I can just imagine. And you know what, boys and girls, you can cut, you can print out as many of these bubbles as you want. And then you can um, hang them on your tree. Right. Now, Lolo then is going to wait till it is dry. And then we are going to slot the two pieces into one another. Okay, boys and girls, while our uh, bubble is drying, let's start with our candle. Now, do you guys remember what the candle was all about? Yes. Jesus is the light of the world. Now, some people don't use candles anymore. They just put their Christmas light on the tree. Some people do both. But just remember, when you see a light, remember that firstly that Jesus is the light of the world and he calls us to be the light of the world. So, Lolo, let's start making our candle. Now, if you look at it, it's a beautiful little candle face. He's a little human candle. So, we can start off by putting either Google eyes or stickers onto our little uh, man and then I see red little um, circles again <laughs> those are holly circles let's put some holly onto our circles <laughs> and then oh yes yes Lolo's putting some holly on <laughs> I love this you all know that holly means if you stand under a holly tree that's tradition that you have to kiss someone Ooh. <laughs> and then Lastly, before we go and color in our leaves, I think we need to have a flame. Don't you think, Lolo? Let's put a flame on.
That's beautiful. Now a candle starts lo is really looking like a little human candle, boys and girls. And then the last thing Lolo's going to do is she's going to start coloring in our holly leaves. So let's go. Lolo, start coloring in your holly leaves. Make it beautifully green. Oh, it's going to just finish our picture. Wow, Lolo, look how beautiful Lolo's pictures of the candle. Are you done, Lolo? Can you show us how beautiful your little man is? Oh, he's so gorgeous. So he's the light of the world, just like Jesus. Now, before we go, we have to assemble our little bubble. So now it's very easy, boys and girls. Lolo's going to show us. We're going to take our, put one piece and we're going to take the other piece and we're just going to slot it into one another. And then, boys and girls, you're going to punch a hole right at the top. And I think Lolo's already done that. And look at that. Let's go down, Lolo. Show the. Open up your little thing. There we go. Oh, we haven't punched it yet. Okay, so punch it. And then, boys and girls, you can put a piece of string through it if you want to. Or it could go straight onto your Christmas tree, just like that. And you can just hang it up on your Christmas tree. Let's turn it around, Lolo. Because now it's upside down. There you go. That's it. Look how beautiful that is. Guys, so now it won't stand because it's round. But there's your hole and you take it and you just slot it into or onto your Christmas tree. Either directly onto a, to a, to one of the branches or you can take a piece of string um, or garland and just attach it. Wow. So boys and girls, that is our beautiful three gifts or symbols for this week for this craft. Oh, there's our Christmas tree, our Christmas tree and our candle and our bubble. Well done, Lolo. Right, boys and girls, are you ready for the next craft? Right, see you now. Welcome back, boys and girls. Right, now we're doing our last two crafts, and that is making our wreath and our star. And Vicky's going to help us with this one. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is again ask mom and dad to take us to the kids' web page so that we can go and print off our star. And then we need, let's see, quite a few things. We need a pair of scissors. We need some coloring in. Or remember what I said, boys and girls, anything that you have at home to decorate. You can use tinsel. You can use um, coloring in. You can use our glitter glue. Anything, stickers, as many as you want. This is for you to just go crazy with our, that is what Christmas is all about, is just making everything beautifully and fun. And then we obviously need some paper plates for our wreath. Okay, so Vicky's got everything ready for us. Now, the very first thing we need to do is to cut out our stars. And secondly, Vicky's already done it, to cut out the inside of a paper plate and you can see she's already beautifully done that okay so guys at home you can start cutting out your pictures and i think vicky is going to start off by cutting her star there we go right boys and girls there we go vicky has colored them uh, cut them out beautifully and remember to cut out the the, the slit as well in your star because those two need to slot into each other just like we did with our bubble and with our Christmas tree. Right, the very first thing we now need to do is decorate our stars. Now, Vicky is going to use star. She's going to do, I'm not, I don't even know what she's going to do. Let me see what she's going to do. But boys and girls, this is your time now to just sit and just have fun. But please remember our story today as you are having fun decorating your star. It's not about presents and it's not about Santa it is all about the real meaning of Christmas this star represents the promise that God made to us that he would send us a savior a savior who would allow us to have eternal life that means to live forever and ever with Jesus in heaven and that promise was baby Jesus in a manger wow look how beautiful this star is looking already I just love those big stars. Don't you guys like those big star stickers? Oh, let's see what Vicky's going to do now. Oh, she is using some of her glitter glue. Oh, this is going to be stunning. Well, guys, you guys just carry on. If you want to wait for Vicky to finish, or you can carry on doing your own thing. And 
I'm just going to wait, watch to see what wonderful star she's going to do. Wow, look at that. Okay, boys and girls. And then when she, if you need to, you can wait a bit for your glitter glue or whatever to um, dry up. Right, let's move that to the front and let's start with our wreath while that is drying. Okay, so boys and girls, let's take our paper plate that we've cut. And what we're going to do with this is we are going to put some glue all over our paper plate. And then you're going to take your tinsel. This is the easiest one of all the crafts. You, and you guys can decorate this with different color tinsel. You can play some balls, small little red balls in there. You can do whatever you like. We're just going to make a very simple and easy um, wreath to show you the basics of, our, of, of a wreath. So you take your paper plate, cut, the, cut it in the middle, then take some tinsel. And now look what Vicky's going to do. She's going to wrap the tinsel all around our paper plate and it's going to have the same shape as the wreath that we showed you in our story today and remember what this is all about it is firstly that Jesus will never ever stop loving us because of the round shape but also because um, when we do put up when we do put up our uh, wreath outside it is showing the world that firstly that we celebrate Christmas which means that we are children of God and that we are celebrating the birth of our Savior. Right, and then to finish off our little basic one, um, Vicky is just going to put some string through um, that you can use to hang on to your door, um, your front door, or you could even hang it on your, on your door to show everybody that you are a child of God who loves you forever and ever. Wow, look at that, boys and girls. And as I said, you can now put red bubbles on there. You can do whatever you want. We just showed you the basic shape or how to start making a beautiful room. Well, boys and girls, the last thing we need to do is to show you what we do with this with our stars. There we go. The one just slots into the other. And then remember um, to punch in a hole at the top. And again, you can just use string, whatever you want, and then you hang it on to your Christmas tree. And look at that. Oh, and it even stands if you don't want to put it on your Christmas tree. So there's our two beautiful crafts, our star and our beautiful wreath. Well, boys and girls, that is all we have for you this week. Wow, this was a full, full, full um, <laughs> lesson full of excitement. We hope that you will come back next week for part two. We'll see you then. Have lots of fun as you prepare for Christmas. <laughs>